Okay guys, this is it. The wait is over. It is time to go head to head with Marula. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery. That's meant to be a French accent. Nobody in this is even French, so I don't know. I am super, super excited for another episode of this where the only thing crazier than my brother, apparently, is my stupid accent. So if you guys are looking forward to this as much as I am, give this a little cheeky thumbs up. Let me know if you want to continue this series in the comments below. So in our last episode, we did our first ever duel. We just did it against little uh, Rowan. However, however, I have a feeling in this episode we're going to be doing a proper, real, full-on jewelerino with none other than Marula. So, hope you guys are ready. I hope you've got your... You've not got your broomsticks in a twist. There we go. Because it could be a pretty scary episode. So, guys, let's get straight into it. We were last here in the courtyard. Angelina ballerina gave us some little tips about how we can duel even better. She helped us with the practice duel. We're feeling pretty confident. So, we could literally go straight to the courtyard and take on Marula right now. However, I feel like we need to make sure that we're feeling strong so that uh, Marula definitely doesn't take us down. Like, is it is it normal that I'm actually feeling legit pretty worried about this whole dueling situation? I'm feeling worried. I am really genuinely feeling pretty worried about the whole thing. So, fingers crossed it's gonna go well because the dueling in this game is actually a little bit harder than I expected it to be. So. You guys said if no girl is in the picture, I should click it. <laughs> Why do I keep giving myself stamina when I've already got 25? Claire, you spook! Why would you keep doing that? Where do we need to be going? I'm, I'm not doing a charms class. I feel like I'm doing a charms class. We're gonna learn Wingardium Leviosa. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. Do you remember that from the films? I remember that from the films. I was literally reading an article today about how Ginny in the books is actually really cool. But Ginny in the film series is just pretty annoying and lame, which I think is pretty true. So we need to unlock two stars, two stars in the charms class to unlock Wingardium Leviosa, which is pretty handy because it allows you to levitate objects through the air towards you, therefore being the biggest lazy bum in the whole world, which I'm a big supporter of. I am legit a big supporter of. So let's go ahead and give this class a go. I am going to put this amazing cat pillow that Ali got me just here to try and dampen a little bit of the echo we're getting in this room. Let me know if that works for you. Also, is it stressing any of you guys out that my phone battery is literally on like 31%? My phone battery is on 31%. That's stressing me out, okay? Let's go ahead and start this class of Rooney. So, there's a little Flitwick. He helped us out by giving us... He gave us Expelliarmus, didn't he? On the fly, on the sly, and on the fly as well. I have prepared a lecture on a very important topic. Ears open. I've forgotten Flitwick's voice. Or do I make him kind of like a... a like, I don't know. I have a strange voice for him. I'll try and do it next time. So, we're going to do a little bit of listening. This is just an awful lot of tapping. A smug Gryffindor says that Gryffindor is the best house. I tend to agree with you, friendo, since I am in Gryffindor. However, the house cup would not say the same thing. Seeing as how we are legit losing pretty badly right now. In fact, after this class, I'll check in on it and see how we're doing. Maybe I can get some house points, you guys, because it's all a little bit trudge when it comes to Gryffindor. Oh, I think I will go ahead and take the points. Now, I have a question for you. Let's see if you know the answer. Let's answer question. Why would you class Alohomora? I kind of want to say it's, it's saying hello, but I'm not sure. Alohomora. Ah! Ah! I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Alohomora. Multiply objects or unlock a door. I'm going to say multiply objects. Oh! <gasps> Guys, I got it right! No house points, as if it was a locker door. I thought that would be like, Lecture Leosa Openo, or something, I don't know. Oh, look how s literally pure trudge I look right now. <laughs> Awkward. I believe you're ready to make an attempt. Try casting a spell. Okay, so we need to listen to Rowan. She always seems to know what she's doing. And review the entry in this book. Watch a little bit of Ro Ro. And we're gonna run out of stamina. <gasps> we finished on zero stamina. I am literally just putting everything into this point system, you guys. I am invested in the point system. If this was Skyrim, it would be archery, it would be sneak, and it would be restoration. I'm gonna go for. They would be my three if I was playing Skyrim. So, oh, this spell is the same as Lumos. I wonder if all charm spells are similar? I don't know, but oh, you just... 
You just did Charm. You you just did Lumos. You didn't do Wingardium Leviosa or you big liar. Let's go ahead and check out the house cup. Uh, oh wow, where are we? Oh, oh, no, no. I was like, we're in first. No, we're not, we're in third. Ravenclaw is first, but they're a big bunch of nerds, so you kind of expect that. Slytherin is second. We are third, joint third, with the Hufflepuff gang. So there you go. There you go. Let's go ahead and collect our little stars. We are now ready. Oh, okay, that was just a practice. Now we are ready to do Wingardium Leviosa, maybe? Maybe, I don't know. Yes, we are. Okay, now we're going to give it a go, you guys. Let's try this again. Oh, look. It's Ben Ben. Ben is good at charms, if you guys remember. Students are asking me, because I helped out Ben with his flight, if I can help out them. This reserved for friends, okay? I, I'd like to say... I'd like to say Ben looks more confident, but yeah... Okay. I could have sworn I heard Flitwick and McGonagall talking about you in the corridor before class started. Oh my gosh, there's such a bunch of gossipers. Wow. Today we'll be learning Wingardium Leviosa. The levitation charm is used to make objects fly or levitate and is an excellent test of your wand control and patience. I seem to remember Hermione being good at this. Let's begin. Okay, you guys, let's get this show on the road. We need five stars now. I'm gonna be buying some more stamina. I can just feel it in me water. Okay, one of the wizard's most rudimentary skills is levitation, or the ability to make other objects fly. Don't forget a nice wrist movement we've been practicing. A swish and a flick. Look at me, I'm like pro already. Allow me to demonstrate, and remember, Wingardium Leviosa. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. That's literally all I think. I'll wait. No, let's get some energy, you guys. Fill up that energy bar. Like that in Rowan's knocking us if she can't do it as well as we can that's the kind of tips i like to be given out okay one star of five complete choose my reward uh i'm just gonna bulk up on this knowledge big brain that's what i'm going for and now we need to do this tap thing kapow guys we nail it now since we know what it is we nail it every single time look at me i'm like a minute ago i was like Things have improved. And I got 10 empathy points. I don't even know why, but I'll take them. Hand them over, Flitwick. Oh, look, little small money, and he's such a cutie bear. Take the time to review the levitation charm. Learn, has many, learn how many things you can levitate. Nudging her. Uh, literally, I'm gonna make Rowan get everything wrong. Paying some attentions. Reading some boards. Clicking like a mad woman. Speaking of mad men and women, we've not heard anything from Dane in a while. Going for that heavy empathy bonus there. Okay, we've got another focus. Come out. Just call me the focus queen, you guys. Look how happy he is with me. Show me being all happy with myself. Oh, oh my gosh, stop doing that, stop doing that. She, she just, she cheers and she hits that girl at the side of her in the head like, yes, yes. I'm that weirdo. I am that weirdo as well in real life, so it's all fine. Please review your incantations. We'll be practicing in a moment. Okay, let's keep nudging Rowan so she gets everything wrong. And then we look extra smart in comparison. Oh my gosh, 40 courage points. I think I will. I think I will take those. And now we... Oh, look at focusing on my own face there. I like that. Okay, let's try this again. Kapow. Queen. 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 Queen, you guys. Look at my little gobshite face. I'm so cute. And I keep getting these empathy points. I don't know why, but um, I'll take an empathy point. Proper stance and, and posture is essential when casting charms. <gasps> Here's his good posture. Look at that, you guys. Glorious posture there with Flitwick. Oh my gosh, and I'm out of energy. Again, already. I like, I do think this game is way too mean when it comes to energy. It's okay for me because I've just accidentally spent a load of money on the game. Well done, Claire. <laughs> But um, if you didn't want to accidentally shoot that, it would be a little bit annoying, wouldn't it? Who thinks they can demonstrate this stance? Claire Siobhan, come and join me in the aisle, please. I'm literally his favorite, you guys. I'm literally this guy's favorite. Stance, please. It never lets me finish. Does that trigger anyone else? Pretty beautiful stance there, Claire. Wait, what's this stupid clothes you got on? Where's the amazing rig out I bought for you? You should be wearing that, you... You're just blending into the background. Okay, now we are gonna prepare to cast it, you guys. Now you give it a try. Remember, Wingardium Leviosa. Wait, oh wait, a little bit, little bit more tapping first, you guys. Tapping our way to victory. I think that's potentially the final one. There we go. Five stars and a bonus star, and oh my gosh. I am not gonna turn down 40 brain points. Our, oh, look at this. Ah, that's a different, a swish and a flick. 
And it literally looks like a swish and a flick. <gasps> Look at us go. We made the feather levitate. Oh, we got a knowledge to level five. Guys, we've literally nailed this class apart from the question that we got wrong. But everything else was real good. So there we go. Loads of empathy. We've learned from Guardian Leviosa. And we got five gems. And we leveled up our empathy to level five as well. So we need to focus on our courage. But it's looking pretty good, you guys. We've added some points. Literally, what is the rest of the class doing? Lazy. Lazy and Slytherin's in first. I'm not impressed with my house right now. I'm going to go tell off Angelina Ballerina because I'm just not impressed. Okay, guys, this is it. The wait is over. It is time to go head to head with Marula. Stop her from bullying people and show her that freaks like me and my brother can fight just as well, okay? Basically, that's what we're going for. I always go for the pacifist route, so I'm interested to see how this is going to go. Let's see if there's any opportunity. Oh, are they the twins? No, I don't know if the twins are even in the school at this point. They might just be other twins. I think it's Bill that we managed to meet. Oh, ooh, oh, I clicked that fire and that gave me another stamina. There's a little hot tip for you guys. But we are going to head down to the courtyard to face Marula once and for all. I don't have a drink either. Marula's voice hurts my actual throat. Not even going to lie. And there's a whole gang of Slytherin. Even if I beat her, they're going to kick my head in. Cheers. At least I've got my cool rig out on. Look at me walking over like a boss. Oh, gosh. What's going on, Rowan? Marula is threatening Ben Cooper. He keeps trying to walk away, but she won't let him. Okay, this is good because I didn't want to just walk up to her and, like, start a fight. However, if she's peck picking on Benjamina Ballerina, there's Angelina Ballerina and there's Benjamina Ballerina. Keep up, you guys, okay? Keep up. If she's picking on somebody else, that's fine. I can activate Mama Bear mode and we'll be fine. It's a good way to get a pacifist like me out of a shell and into full rage mode. Ugh. Let's go. Okay, let's get ready to do this voice. You're an embarrassment to everyone in our year. Oh my gosh, it's peaking so much. I can see my microphone peaking. I'm gonna have to step back. Oh, just leave me alone. Disgusting mudbloods. Like you shouldn't even be allowed into Hogwarts. You are literally Malfoy, but the generation before him, aren't you? Leave the magic to the real witches and wizards. Do we stop her or do we distract her? No. Technically, our empathy is higher than our knowledge right now, so I think we go for the empathetic route. It's clearly not going to work that well, but because, you know, she's Marula, she's Screwball, but I think it's the best plan. It'll be okay, Marula. What are you talking about? I'm sure your parents will eventually be released from Azkaban. <gasps> Either way, just because they chose evil doesn't mean you have to be evil too. Oh my gosh, literally went for the full passive aggressive sort of attitude route there that is a strong strong strategy there claire let's see if it pays off an interesting one Ugh. who told you about my parents a friend you should try getting a friend of your own you might not be so miserable ah! <gasps> literally i'm just dishing out the burns like we're in the burn unit right now you guys <gasps> oh my gosh you never learn, do you, Siobhan? Oh, Ben's off. Ben's run away. Thanks for that, Ben. And we're in a fighting stance right now. We're in the fighting position like a bear. Look, got my fighting bears on. My big old fighting bear ready for today, you guys. We're fierce. Fierce like the bear. Why don't you be more like your mad brother and go missing? She's got a few, a few epic burns of her own there, you guys. You're the person everybody just wishes would go away. Make me, Siobhan. Do we strike first? Challenge Marula or refuse to fight. I think we strike first. Take it, Marula. You are going to get tickled. <gasps> oh, wait. This could get us expelled. This could get us expelled. Uh-oh. Rick to Sempra. Uh-oh. <gasps> oh, I got it tickled, you guys. Please don't be any teachers. Please don't be any teachers. <laughs> this could have been an error. Ha-ha. <laughs> the ticketing jam. You ha-ha. <laughs> Ali's upstairs being like, is Claire, what, what's going on with my girlfriend? Is she okay? Is she actually mad? Flippendo! Oh, quick, get ready to dodge it, get ready to dodge it. Oh, what did she just do to me? What did she just do to me? Uh, be careful, Claire. I won't let you hurt anyone else. Flippendo! Flippendo! She's, wait, guard yourself. Oh, she's got you on the floor again? Are you joking? Claire, no. No. Have I just lost? Wrong again, Siobhan. Get up, Claire, and show her who is boss right now. Yes, 
It is time for a duel, you guys. Bring it on. Let's take her down, you guys. We're gonna take her down. <gasps> Choose your stance. I think she is gonna go sneak uh, aggressive, you know, because she's like a little rat. So I'm gonna go defensive. Called it, you guys. Literally, I called it. And let's go straight in with throwing a vial at her. Take this vial to the base, Marula. How do you like them apples, okay? We got high courage bonus, which gave us even more against her. Now, will she go defensive or will she go sneak a week? I think she might try sneaky, so I'm gonna go aggressive. <gasps> draw, draw, what does that mean? It's a tie, you and your opponent got the same stance so nobody gets the move. Okay, so she has done aggressive twice in a row. This is tough. In a tie, stamina is given to the jeweler who needs it more. Are you joking me right now? She's done aggressive twice in a row. What do I do? I don't know how to try aggressive once more. Okay, she's gonna roll aggressive every time, isn't she? Let's go defensive. She's only aggressive, okay, this is great. We know that she's weak. She's gonna keep throwing these vials directly into her face. Maybe we'll break her nose and get lucky. Who knows? A high courage bonus again. So let's go defensive again. Oh my gosh, she's the most predictable jeweler in the whole world. Let's finish this, you guys. Vile to the face. Enjoy that, Marula. You've been embarrassed. Embarrassed in front of everyone. You win. Look at her. She's like, ah. And we got 100 XP. Please don't let a teacher come out right now. <gasps> now we can disarm her. Expelliarmus. Do it, Claire. Do it, me. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. <gasps> ah! We literally cut, took the wand out of her hand. How did you learn that spell already? No fair. Mm. Wow, that was amazing, Claire. You can't be better than me. No one can be better than me. Oh, I think you'll find I am, Marula. I beat you, Marula. Now apologize to Ben Cooper and promise to stop bullying everyone. Look at my face. I'm so impressed with myself right now. I never apologize to you m m losers and mudbloods. Oh. <gasps> uh oh. Snapey Boots is here. I'm Marula Snide, fourth generation Slytherin, the greatest witch of Hogwarts. I do what I want, when I want. I run this school and I... Uh-oh. Even Snape is like, you are literally shameful right now. So shameful. Snape's like, ahem. Uh-oh. Professor Snape. <laughs> P Professor Snape, I... I suspect this is your fault, Siobhan. Oh, wait, no. I suspect this is your fault, Siobhan. Are you aware of the Hogwarts policy? An unauthorized dueling? Flitwick, stand up for us. Yes, Professor. Uh. Did you cast the first spell in this duel, Miss Siobhan? No. Guys, we actually did. Yes, I had to stop Marula from bullying me oh. and my friends. <gasps> no! I warned you, Miss Siobhan. There will be dire consequences for your decision. And I wonder where she learned that disarming charm. Oh no, you guys! I should have gone for the option. I got myself into trouble and I got Flitwick into trouble. Clean yourself up and see me in the West Tower to face consequences of your actions, Siobhan. What? Look easy. Thanks there, little um, Dumblerino, but Marula gets nothing. We get all the punishment and she didn't even get a slap on the wrist. She should be getting slapped on the wrist. Well, at least we'll collect our money and HP. Uh, um, XP, and now it's chapter six, The Curious Corridor. Victorious in your duel with Marula, you must now answer to Professor Snape. Meanwhile, a new Hogwarts mystery lies just around the corner. <gasps> Brilliant, and we got some new stuff unlocked as well. However, I think we need to go straight away and report to Snape. <gasps> We could be getting expelled at this rate. <gasps> it's the beautiful girl. It's my crush. Hello, Claire Siobhan. You know who I am? Does that surprise you? Yeah, I mean, you're Penny Haywood. You're the most popular girl in our year, and, well, I'm not popular. I disagree, Claire Siobhan. Everyone is talking about the hero who is brave enough to stand up to the tyranny of Marula Snide. This is how she talks, by the way. I want her hair. She's so pretty and cute. I want her. Not to mention all of the rumors surrounding you and your brother. Did you want something? I wanted to say thank you 
Hogwarts is supposed to be fun, but Marula was making it miserable for everyone. Oh. I especially appreciate how you used your wits to stop Marula bullying Ben Cooper. That's because we went for the empathy option, you guys. Someone had to do something. I agree, but only you were brave enough. I hope Professor Snape doesn't punish you for your bravery. Let me know if I can ever help you with anything, Claire. Can you teach me how to do that with my hair? That would be a good start. We can start there. I'm, I'm game if you are. I know the gossip around Hogwarts, and I'm pretty good with potions if I say so myself. I will. Thanks, Penny. Mm -hmm. I don't really know how that's going to help me, but still. Thank you, Claire. I'll see you around. <gasps> Guys, literally, we've talked to our crush, Penny. I'm literally blushing right now. Now that Miss Siobhan is here, I can discuss your punishment. Expulsion seems to be the most logical option. Snapey boots, no! You put those beautiful fuzzy eyebrows down, okay? I had nothing to do with it, Professor. I only defended myself when this loser attacked me. Since you have arrived, you have fought in the corridor, made a mess of my classroom, and dueled on the school grounds. This after the damage your brother, bringing Dane into it again, did to Hogwarts. Why shouldn't you receive the harshest punishment for your actions, Siobhan? Do we say I help my friends or I don't answer to you? I'm sorry. I think we need to take the humility option with Snape, so I'm gonna say I'm sorry. I know I broke the rules, Professor. I'm sorry. Please don't be too hard on me. <gasps> 20 points from Gryffindor. I should take another 20 for your sniveling. As I said, expulsion is a logical punishment for dueling on the school grounds. Please no. Unfortunately, our headmaster is illogical and believes that expulsion is unfair in this case. Oh my gosh, thank you Dumbledore. If either of you are ever caught dueling on the school grounds again, I can assure you that you will be not so fortunate. <gasps> oh no, it's Filch! Professor Snape, you must come with me right away. It's about the vaults. Return to your common rooms. Oh. <gasps> There's something going on in the vaults, you guys. What could it be? They must be talking about the cursed vaults. <gasps> Why does Marula care about the cursed vaults? I better follow her and Snapey Boots. Oh. So there's still loads to do in this chapter and it's literally Marula saying, are you gonna come with me to the vaults? I think we could end up dying in there if Marula has her way. We also get to learn Nox, which puts out lights and we get to actually mount our broom in this chapter as well. So it's gonna be a pretty spicy one, you guys. Should we quickly see what new stuff we got? <gasps> we got new hairdos, but none of them are the cool ones that Penny's wearing. I want Penny's hairdos. We also apparently got some new clothes. Again though, none of them are quite as cool as the rig out that I had on earlier, although that one is actually looking pretty badass. <gasps> oh my gosh though, look, we could actually switch to a little skirt number with these long, long, long stockings. <gasps> oh, they're kind of hideous though. I don't know. Maybe they're a little bit too hideous, you know? No, I think we leave it for now. I think we leave it for now. I think we should quickly just go and get a little taster of what this whole vault situation is about. So let's go ahead and go down this corridor and follow Snape and Filch with Marula. This could be a really bad idea. Please don't kill me as soon as I walk through this door, Marula. That would be just absolutely great if you could do that. <gasps> Literally, it's just me and her. This is super creepy. Look, those guys are there. Has he got like his cut with him? I think he has. Let's go see what Marula's saying. Get out of here! Shh! Why'd you call me here then? What? Who is Snape talking to? You're such an idiot. That's the caretaker, Mr. Filch. He wanders the corridors trying to catch students breaking rules. Oh my gosh, my throat. Are they talking about the cursed vaults? I can't tell because you won't shut up. <gasps> okay, what is going on? Who else knows about this? Only me and Miss Norris saw the ice, sir. Was going to report it to the headmaster I was. <gasps> Look, there's Miss Norris, the little pretty cat. I will inform Professor Dumbledore. This may have to do with the Siobhan situation. So we we saw a vision that had something to do with ice with our brother in the vaults. So I think this is connected, you guys. Is it true that the vaults are filled with gold and powerful prophecies and artifacts from before Hogwarts existed? And that's why the Siobhan boy lost his mind trying to find them. Don't worry about what's inside the vaults. Worry about keeping everyone out. Lock this door and keep it guarded. We have to go in there, you guys. We have to go in there. What is the Siobhan situation? <laughs> Who cares? This is another clue to the cursed vaults. You think the cursed vaults are real and you're trying to find them? You always call my brother mad for doing the exact same thing. Even if I care to explain myself to an idiot, I wouldn't do it here. 
and risk getting caught by the two meanest people at Hogwarts. <coughs> Gee, Marula, you are, you need to cut back on the smoking. Wow. Your, your voice is hurting my poor little, little non-smoker voice box. <gasps> She's gone. She got into the vaults. She has a point. I better tell Rowan what I heard. Do -do. I need to just check she's not going in there though. Like, are you actually going into there? No, she's not. <gasps> Guys, that is super, super tricksy. Let's go ahead and just tell Rowan. Ooh, so we've got a few people to chat to here actually. <gasps> a fourth year thought we'd got you'd get expelled for dueling. And somebody else, a third year, is like, nice work in the duel. He's been waiting for someone to put Marula in her face in her place. <gasps> oh, and it's Rowan. Are you all right, Rowan? I was so worried when Marula hit you with the knockback jinx. I didn't even notice she did that. <laughs> Sorry, Rowan. Hey, fine, thanks. It's not the first time I've been knocked down. I always get back up. You're not going to believe what just happened, though. I can't believe you're here, Claire. Snape and Flitwick looked so angry after you dueled Marula. Thanks again for stopping her bullying us all. You're a hero. Why, yes, I am, friendo. I don't feel like a hero. In fact, I think I might be cursed. What do you mean? I followed Snape and Mr. Filch into a corridor. They mentioned ice and bolts. Just like your vision. They said it had something to do with the Siobhan situation. Oh, Dan. You are literally leaving a, a curse behind for me here. I don't understand, and I pride myself on understanding things. I don't understand either, but I'm hoping we can work it out together. I'll tell you everything that happened. Okay, so we have to now tell Rowan everything that happened, which is basically convincing her that she needs to be on our side. So I think we'll say that we'll be prepared. She will like that answer. But if we get caught, we need three diamonds to pass. I think we pretty much nailed Getting towards the first one. <gasps> and a high courage bonus. She's worried about the vision. We'll work it out together. I think she'll like that. So good at knowing friendos. 10% battery left, guys. This might have to be the last thing we do. Oh my gosh, they're eating their massive sandwiches again. <laughs> what about Snape? You'll work out a brilliant plan, Rowan. You have to be good for something, okay? <laughs> well, what about the cursed vaults? Uh, we'll break the curse. Is that what we're doing? Is that the plan? I was kind of thinking it would take all the artifact and diamonds and gold, but okay, we can do that too. Fine. Okay, she's gonna help us investigate the corridor. And we leveled up our little friendship with her as well to level three. What do you think it all means? I'm not sure, but it has something to do with me, the cursed vaults, and maybe even Dane. I have to investigate the upstairs corridor. You mean we have to investigate the upstairs corridor? Let's head there tonight after everybody goes to sleep. Oh. Guys, literally in the next episode, we're going to be sneaking out after hours to go to this cursed vault corridor, which is pretty exciting. So I hope you guys enjoyed another episode of Hogwarts, Harry Potter, what is this game called? Harry Potter and the Hogwarts Curse. Is that what it's called? What are you called, game? Harry Potter, Hogwarts Mystery. That's the ticket. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Harry Potter, Hogwarts Mystery. Don't forget to give it a little cheeky like, share it with anybody else that you think might like it, and we will be doing our little after hours sneak around in the next episode which sounds super super fun and i'll see you guys then thank you so much for watching bye